Richie Orpheus here. Come to talk about the tape recorder I got for my 10th birthday called, it's the Realistic CTR2 uh, from 1969. It was the, I got it on my 10th birthday and I want to commemorate the 50th anniversary of owning this device. Uh, it changed the way that I listened to music and played music and dealt with audio. So as a studio re uh, technician, this was on the, uh, on the cutting edge, the forefront of my career, if you would say. Now, it, has, it came in a nice leather case, and this is the device outside of the case, as you can see right here. It also came with its microphone, and there's a stand around here somewhere. There you go. You put that like that, and of course uh, the stand is, I think it might be broken, but it's supposed to sit like that when you're talking or you're having a meeting. Um, they didn't, this did not have a condenser mic like um, most cassette recorders of the day. This was a, a primitive tool. It didn't have automatic record level, neither, and it also had two separate volume and tone controls. Now, uh, it also had a little remote control switch, which controlled the, the playback in recording. Okay, as you can hear, this is the first tape that I ever recorded on here, and I was hanging out with my brother downstairs with his tape recorder and I was singing you know Goodbye. Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers I Want You to Be My Girl <laughs> so we got my first tape recorder and my first tape and this is like the first time I ever put this together like this in many 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 moons I mean, I don't know, I must have been gay or something, but <laughs> when you're 10 years old, you don't want to admit that you like girls, but that's it. Um, it took uh, four C-size batteries. Uh, it also has an electrical input, uh, radio input. That was the line-in output for the earphone, earphone jack. And it also had a phone, little phone tapper. You stick that in the back of the phone, and you record telephone calls. And that's what they had back then. Well, there you go. There you have it. The CTR2 Realistic Auto Level Cassette Tape Recorder from 1969. That's it. Thank you.